Right guys, welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober and today we're out on location because I've just started a new challenge and it's called Strober's Speedlight Challenge. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be challenging myself with regards to making photographs with speed lights. Now today I've packed very light. As a matter of fact, all I have is a mini tripod stand, a speed light, manual radio triggers and my DSLR. Now the challenge today is to make photographs with this remote control car. Now I'm not too sure where to start but this is where you start with creativity don't you? You just make it up as you go along. So throughout the day we're going to be making photographs with this remote control car. So let's go. Right guys, so I've got some good shots of the car, so I think I like him anyway. But yeah, one of the biggest problems I'm going to be facing now is basically dog walkers. Because if dog walkers see me lay down like this, then they're going to be wondering what the hell is that weirdo doing? But we know we're doing a strawberry challenge. Anyway, what problems is it I was facing? Well, first of all, I'm getting a misfire from this because whenever I hold the speed light like this, gravity is pulling the connection away. So I'm getting an odd misfire. Apart from that, I basically used a fast shutter speed, I think it's like 180 in order to cut out the ambient light, and then I was just let the flash fill in the subject, which is the car in our case. But yeah, everything's going pretty cool. I'm going to move further on down there because I want to photograph the car in different angles. So let's move on then. Right guys, working with the speed light on the mini tripod, absolute pleasure, no misfires whatsoever, just consistent flashes and it was also nice as well, you know, to be able to move the light around the subject in order for you just to focus on doing the camera work instead of the lighting work, but yeah, you know, if you wanted to move the light and just move it around, but Anyway, have a look at some of these photographs. To be honest with you guys, I actually don't think their photographs are bad at all. I actually think they're pretty decent. Now, I admit, I've been making a mistake today, and that is that I've been shooting in JPEG small size, when I really wanted to be shooting in raw, but, you know, I've already started shooting in JPEG, so I might as well keep this JPEG. Hey guys, I just had an idea, right? If you are a pet photographer or you want to get into pet photography, I bet you there's money to be made if you hung out around your local park. The amount of dog walkers is unbelievable and you know and I know that dog walkers are probably carrying money. So if you were a good enough salesperson with your camera, you know you could be selling them photographs easily to some of these dog walkers. You know that's true. We, we all know, professional photographers know that if you want to sell photographs, you'll sell photographs. And I'm telling you, if you want to be a pet photographer, 
if you came to your local park with a portable printer, chances are you're going to make money with your photography. Right guys, look at the state of me. I'm covered in dust. Now, what's my thoughts? My thoughts are, you know, I've got some good photographs. However, I'm thinking that because the remote control car is so small, I'm thinking that ideally you'd want to be working with snoots. Now, if you don't know what snoots are, is basically snoots allow you to send a more narrow beam of light in a certain direction. Now, a speed light compared to that remote control car, they're actually, you know, the speed light is actually quite big. So I'm thinking it might be better to be working with snoots. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in to Strawberry Speed Light Challenge, and I'll see you all in the next video.